In this video, what we will be doing is performing a live analysis in the market from a swing trading perspective on a specific pair. And by performing this live analysis, what I will be doing is sharing a lot of knowledge on which are the key elements that you have to look for when you are analyzing the market in the first place. And by the end of the video, you will also see exactly what kind of potential trading opportunity we can be looking at the moment on that specific pair. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top order on a trading view platform and I share free education and analysis on all my platforms every single day. So I really suggest you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all this free education and I will see you in the video. Okay, so the pair that we will be speaking about today is CAD CHF. Now, why do I want to speak specifically about this pair? Because it's very interesting, both from an educational and a practical perspective because at the moment the pair is very near to providing a very good trading opportunity and just created a very interesting move and pattern so I definitely want to speak about the pair and obviously we will be covering it both from a technical and order flow perspective. So let's start the analysis from the monthly, weekly and daily time frame which are the best time frames for the direction of the market obviously combined with the order flow and then we will see what we have from a four hour perspective which is the best time frame when it comes to the entry so let's start from the monthly and see what kind of situation we currently have on the pair and as usual i will keep the analysis as educational as possible so starting from the monthly we can clearly see that on the monthly the market first created a nice impulse to the downside followed by this correction. Now, in general, if you want to measure a correction in the market, what do you have to do? You have to take your Fibonacci on the impulse leg. Now, in this case, the impulse leg is this leg here. So we have to take our Fibonacci from the high to the low of this impulse. And we can see that the market retraced exactly to the 0.618 of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse. Now, that is not a mistake. The market retraced exactly to the 0.618 because, first of all, it is the golden ratio. Second of all, it is the Fibonacci level that is aligning the best with structure. In fact, if we look at what we had here, we can clearly see that we had the previous support, which is now turned resistance. That was exactly where the 0.618 was. And in fact, that is exactly where the market retraced to. And if you remember, we made an analysis exactly when the market was in this zone saying that from here we definitely expected this move to the downside which is exactly what the market did now that we know what is going on on the monthly so a part a market that has created an impulse a correction and already tried to create the continuation to the downside however it stopped at the previous low now that we know this information we can go down on the weekly and see what we have on the weekly time frame now on the weekly what do we see first of all on the weekly time frame, it is very clear that the market respected this zone very, very precisely. What we also know from a, a weekly perspective is that this candle here, this candle, this weekly candle where we are actually trading in, we definitely expected it to be green. Why did we expect it to be green? Because this candle here is the candle that the next one is supposed to fill in the wick. And in fact, the market is filling in the wick. Now, every time that you see a market, a, a candle, it has this shape. So a big a green body and a long wick, which is either the same size of the body or even longer. In that case, you expect the next candle to fill in the wick. This is a pattern that repeats over and over again on all time frames. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did here. Candle that you expect the next one to fill in the wick and the market did fill in the wick. Now, if you're asking yourself, why is that? Why is that that, that every time that you see a candle like this, 90% of the times the next candle will fill in the wick because this wick is simply an impulse and a correction on lower time frames. And after an impulse and a correction, you expect the continuation to the upside for the creation of a higher high, which is exactly what we have also here from a daily perspective. In fact, here on the daily, what do we have? We have an impulse and a correction. Why do we have an impulse and a correction? Because the, this retracement here is exactly the wick that we have on the weekly. So impulse, correction, and you expect the continuation to the upside. 
Now, we definitely wanted to see this continuation to the upside. In fact, we had performed two previous analysis on this pair. One, the first analysis that we performed was after this W formation and we wanted to see from here the market give us this move to the downside. Why? Because every time that you see a W formation, you expect the next wave to be to the downside to go to retest this previous resistance, which is now turned support at this level. And that is exactly what the market gave us. It gave us exactly the move to the downside that we wanted to see. And I will link this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference. And after that, the market created this impulse and correction. So the move that we wanted to see and we made another analysis explaining why from here we wanted to see the continuation to the upside, which is what the market is currently doing. And I will link also this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference. So the market completed both patterns that we wanted to see the market complete. And now it is very important to understand where the market is from a weekly perspective. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. On the weekly, we can clearly see that the market is currently going to retest very soon a very strong level of structure resistance. Because on the weekly, where is the last time that the market went to the upside before starting this wave to the downside? It is exactly here. So the previous support, which is now turned resistance at this level is this the level that currently the market is testing. And from this level, we expect the market to give us a rejection to the downside. So going back down on the daily, what we can expect? Where is the next opportunity for CAD CHF? Now, if the market will break above this area and then break back below, rejecting the weekly structure, that is where the opportunity will be. Why? Because we will have previous resistance here we will have this previous resistance here, which will be again turn resistance at this area. And we will have which pattern? Left shoulder, head and right shoulder and the creation of an impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. So definitely we can expect this continuation to the downside. But before I show you how we will be approaching this situation with students, let's first go and give a quick check at what we have from a COT perspective on the pair to see what the biggest banks and institutions are currently doing on the CAD and on the CHF to see if this possibility is actually backed up by proper institutional order flow. Now, if we check the data for the CAD, what we can see, we can see that institutions with the last report have added another 3.7K short positions and closed 2.6K longs on the CAD, bringing the net positions at minus 29K. So CAD is definitely getting weaker because it's getting shorted from an institutional perspective. And if we go and see what we have from a CHF point of view, we can see that CHF is definitely getting bought, but with a net positions going from 1.4K to 17K and lungs getting added, 1.3K lungs getting added with the last report and 4K shorts getting closed. So CHF getting stronger, CAD getting weaker. Can we expect the weekly resistance to be rejected to the downside? Absolutely yes. And how we will be approaching this kind of situation with students? As usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. What do I mean by this? If the market will continue to the upside and not show any kind of weakness inside of the weekly resistance, then it's perfectly fine. It means that the market will just continue to the upside and we will simply have to adapt to the new market structure. We, just because we want to see the short doesn't mean that we can immediately short. We need to see all our conditions satisfied. So first, we want to see the market go a little bit higher, test the weekly resistance. Then we want to see the weekly resistance get rejected to the downside with a break back below this previous resistance, which at that point will be again turned resistance at this area. And after the market will have created this move, so break and retracement back inside of the structure, after this, on the retracement back inside of this previous resistance, which will again be turn resistance at this area inside of this zone. That is where we will be monitoring price action with students waiting for the market to provide to us one of our valid entries. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. But first, we need to see the market create this fake breakout to the, to the upside 
then go for the retest of the structure is and here is where the best opportunities will come but as usual monthly weekly and daily are the best time frames when it comes to the direction of the market but the best time frame for entry is the four hours so inside of this area on the four hour time frame we will be monitoring price action waiting for one of our valid entries if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash that like button and comment below it really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you also make sure you go and check out the mentorship program you find it linked in the description it's a very complete program you first learn all the rules of my rule based strategies and then you trade them live with me each and every day i give you a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply these strategies with entry stop and take profit as well as answering every single question that you have every day including the weekends so i really suggest you go and check it out and i will see you in